This famous early High Court case is an important authority in both torts and contract. This case note focuses on the tort of false imprisonment. Mr Robertson intended to catch the ferry to Balmain from Circular Quay in Sydney. The ferry company had turnstiles on their Circular Quay wharf and none at Balmain, so customers travelling to Balmain would pay a penny on entering the wharf. Customers travelling to the city boarded freely at Balmain and then paid their penny to get off the wharf in Sydney. If someone paid their penny to enter, but then for some reason they did not travel, they were still required to pay another penny to get back out through the turnstile. There was a sign-up making this clear. Mr Robertson got onto the wharf, but the ferry had just left. He decided not to wait. However, he refused to pay the penny to exit the wharf, and ferry staff blocked his exit. Was he falsely imprisoned as a result? Chief Justice Griffiths noted that false imprisonment means a total confinement within an area. He said that in fact Mr Robertson was free to leave by water. We presume he means by getting on a ferry, but he might have meant swimming. And so there was no imprisonment. Justice O'Connor said that a person may validly make a contract to enter into a situation which would otherwise be false imprisonment. He said, The abridgment of a man's liberty is not under all circumstances actionable. He may enter into a contract which necessarily involves the surrender of a portion of his liberty for a certain period, and if the act complained of is nothing more than a restraint in accordance with that surrender, he cannot complain. Nor can he, without the assent of the other party, by electing to put an end to the contract, become entitled at once, unconditionally and irrespective of the other party's rights, to regain his liberty as if he had never surrendered it. He gave the example of someone boarding a train who could not simply demand that the train stop because they wanted to get off. In this case, Robertson had contracted to enter the wharf on the basis that he would exit the wharf either on a ferry or by paying a penny. It was not false imprisonment for the ferry operator to enforce that contract. Mm -hmm.